So I'm going to make this video today to show you how to attach a PZEM, the model name is PZEM-021 digital multifunction meter to a generic, essentially non-branded Chinese Variac. It, it, it will work with virtually any Variac. There are several other videos on YouTube that talk about this process but they just don't show the details and some of you might be saying you know if you need to be shown in detail how to do this you probably shouldn't be doing it and that may be a valid point but I know it would have helped me if the details in the other videos were a little more clear because frankly the wiring diagram that they give you uh, with the meter is errant in several ways um, there are a couple of things you need to know about this uh, meter before you start that, as far as I can tell, are not documented in the wiring diagram or the instructions that come with the meter. One of those things is that pins 1 and 2, so if you're looking at the back of the meter with the screw posts, the contacts on your left, I'm always going to refer to the posts in this video from that perspective. So look at the back of the meter, put the screw posts on the left, start from the top and count down. It's going to be pins 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then later on we're going to add a fifth one and I'll explain that in a minute. So things you need to know. Pins 1 and 2 are bridged with a resistor. Those are also both your neutrals. We'll get into more detail about this. I'll show it where I made some modifications to their diagram the wiring diagram that comes with the meter that hopefully make it a little more intuitive. And another thing you need to know, pins 3 and 4 are directly bridged uh, inside the case. So when you put a load on pin 3, you also have a load on pin 4, um, whether you intend to or not. So it, it, they're directly bridged. So that would be handy information to know when you're trying to wire this thing up. Nonetheless, uh, also for my Variac, the one I'm showing in this video, the analog meter did not work when I got it. So it doesn't work in the video and it never did. So just sort of overlook that. It's obviously impertinent now that the digital meter is on there. The other thing, this meter is only designed to work down to 80 volts, um, but I'm going to show you how to modify it to work all the way down to zero volts. There are some other videos that talk about this and they kind of explain how to do it. It, it. It's actually probably the easiest part of hooking this thing up, but it does require you to open the housing on the meter and, and make a little modification inside it, which is very, very simple to do and will allow it to work all the way down to zero volts. Otherwise, if you hook it up just as is with the with the four posts, it will start working about 65 volts. You claim, you know, it says 80 on the meter, but it'll actually come on at about 65 volts and work up through 260. My Variac stops at about 140 volts, but um, but at any rate, it, it will it will start at about 65 if you don't do the mod. But the mod's so easy to do, there's really no reason not to, and it makes it a lot more handy. Just simply take the two screws out of the top and bottom of this uh, housing on the front and it pops off just like this, no problem. So you'll see the wiring diagram on the back of the meter that I've made some notes on to make it a little more readable. Pins 1, 2, 3, and 4. Pins 1 and 2 are your neutrals and they're bridged with the resistor as I've shown there. Pins 3 and 4 are your load and they're bridged and I've colored the pins um, black with a sharpie where the green screw block is there. I've colored those last two pins black to indicate load. So now we're going to look at the, each individual wire and I'll show you where each individual wire needs to go. We'll start with pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, and pin 5. I'm calling that pin 5 but I added this wire as you can see it's different than the others and I'll show you in a minute where that comes from and where it goes to. So pin one, get some wires out of the way here. Pin one, trace this guy, he comes all the way around and he goes to the neutral side of the plug right there. Just solder it on to the contact on the back. Pin two, trace him and he goes to the neutral side of the switch. Now you'll 
be, be easily be able to tell which side of your switch is the neutral because the neutral coming in from the mains is soldered on there. Pin 3. Now this is a load. So this wire's got load on it. So this wire is tapped on to the wire coming from the wiper in the variac. So this is basically your variable AC output right here. So that's what pin 3 is. I just took a you know, piece of wire, I trimmed the wiper wire off where it was originally connected and stripped it, put a butt connector on it, put a little hot glue and a zip tie on it to, for strain relief and um, and that's where pin 3 goes to, is to the variac wiper. Now pin 4 goes to the hot side of the plug. Pardon my hand being in the way there. Pin 4 goes to the hot side of the plug. And then this fifth wire, which I added, goes to the hot side of the fuse. So it goes to the tip of the fuse. Another look at the. Now we're going to talk about mod that I made to make this um, meter read down to zero volts. You can pop the back cover off with a small screwdriver. It comes off pretty easily. And when you do, you'll see, as I've shown in this picture, again with the meter in the same relative position with the screw connectors on the left you'll see this big yellow capacitor inside the the housing there it's got fairly long leads on it where it's soldered onto the board what you need to do is this bottom lead or the lead closest to you if you have the meter in the orientation that it is in the picture you can see that I've got some red shrink tubing on the lead where where I cut it and um, and soldered the wire onto it. So just cut that lead from the board, cut it loose from the board, and then as we saw earlier in the video, um, I've got this orange piece of wire soldered onto that lead, and then I just put some shrink tubing over it to to protect that. Uh, connection from touching anything else on the board that might cause a problem so that's all you have to do and then you gotta make a little notch in the black plastic housing over there next to the pin block you can see my piece of shrink wrap going out next to the pin block there you gotta take a dremel tool or, or what drill or whatever and just make a little notch over there um, for that to, to get out and then you can just snap the cover back on and that's, that's all there is to making the mod run that orange wire to the hot side of the fuse. Another look at the wiring diagram there. You can see how it's affixed with the, the double sided tape. It stays on there rock solid. Now I had to cut, take a Dremel tool and grind a little semicircle in there for a place for the wires to go down into the, the case. And then I just used a little rubber grommet and cut it so it would stretch over that cut part of the metal and keep from chafing the wires. So just take those, uh, put the grommet in there and push the wires down into the grommet and then uh, screw the cover back on. And that's it. Plug it up, hit the juice. I'll go through the whole range of the Variac here just to demonstrate. Go all the way down to zero volts. Slowly turn it up. There's 121, 145, and that's about the upper limit of mine. Hope you found this video useful and uh, a little easier to follow than, than some of the other ones out there.